Yo guys, it's going to be boy Kingster70 here back with another video before we get into this video. I just want to remind you all the other kings and queens. And I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And I'm back with another series that is starting. You guys know this channel was built and made and grown off Madden, which is obviously football content. And there has just been a lot of football content on the channel. But to my football fans, I got a message for you. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! <laughs> With that being said, the Giants Madden 21 franchise will be coming to a halt. It will be it will be stopping just for a little bit. But before you dislike this video, before you unsub from me, we got college NCAA football 14 college revamped. We're starting a new dynasty with a college program. And my aspirations are that once the, the NFL draft comes and goes and those new rosters are put into Madden 21, I will I will boot up a yet again another Giants franchise with all the rookies and all the roster changes. So you guys should expect that maybe in two weeks, a week and a half. We'll see. And also my final announcement before we get into this uh, college football revamp dynasty is that I will be I will most likely it's like 90% sure I will most likely be live streaming the NFL draft on Thursday looking very forward to that so if you guys are looking to come chill out watch the draft with me come through pull up to the live stream it will be on YouTube it won't be on Twitch so it'll be easy to find I'm sure you guys will get notifications as well but now we pick our team that we're going to rebuild in this dynasty now I thought about going to the one stars right you got four teams in the one stars none of them are in very big significant conferences so i wanted to have some competition while i rebuild this type of school and the two stars yet again there's not a whole lot of competition in any of these schools thought it'd be cool to do coastal carolina uh, they had a really really good season east carolina you know chris johnson maybe we find the next biggest running back uh but other than that uh there wasn't many teams that really peaked my sort of interest, South Alabama, they began, a, they began a lot of good recruits. This is a Deion Sanders school, I'm pretty sure. And other than that, there haven't been any other schools that really, I was like, wow, I want to coach that team. So then I went up to the three-star schools, and I started filtering by conference. Let's go to what most people would say is the best conference in the, in the college football scene, SEC. And then they got Vanderbilt there. But if you look at Vanderbilt's, like, I mean, if you look at the SEC in total, they're just stacked. I don't know if Vanderbilt will be able to compete. I don't know if it will necessarily be any sort of fun. You know what I mean? So then I moved over to what I, I moved over to the Big Ten. I went to the three-star schools, and I've been a Jersey kid my whole life. And I'm going to be rebuilding the Rutgers program. There's other three-star schools in this program as well. But you also got the likes of the six-star and the five-star and the four-stars. We got Michigan. Do we? Do they actually They do have six-star? Ohio State. And that is the only six-star school they have. But they got one, two, three, four, five, six schools inside the top 25. So it's going to be a really, really difficult rebuild. And I'm going to come back and show you the roster that we're working with. If any of you are Rutgers fanatics out there and you think that anything about these rosters should be changed in terms of the depth chart, then comment that down below. But as of now, we're going to have to start my man Noah Vedral. Uh, then we got Arthur Sitowski right behind them with Johnny Langan in the third spot. That, that's going to be an interesting spot through those trios. They're going to definitely be fighting out to see who the starting quarterback will be this season. Now running back, it's pretty, it's pretty, there's it, it no competition really. We got Isaiah Pacheco, 85 overall. Then we got Aaron Young behind him, Pacheco a junior, and Young is a sophomore. We have a freshman as well, Kyle Mungai. But uh, Pacheco is not necessarily a speed type of running back. I guess he's more of a power back, only got 85 speed on him. So that's going to be good to have him and Aaron Young switch the type of pace that they're going to run at uh, when they sub out for each other. At fullback, we have Matt Alimo. At wide receiver, we have a stud and Bo Melton, 87 overall. But after him, we got a couple other juniors here, but they're not going to really make a lot of noise. We got a sophomore, Isaiah Washington. Who I'm probably going to be moving up to the number two spot just like that. And we'll move, what's his name? Move Jones to the three because I want to get watched him as many reps as possible because since he's a sophomore, these juniors don't necessarily have a big future with us moving forward in the program. We do have a freshman though, 68 overall Christian Dremel. Might get him some snaps. At tight end, we got Giovanni Haskins, the senior, 77 overall. That's a safety blanket right there for our quarterback. 
Uh, the offensive line is not bad at all. I took a look at the roster before I uploaded the, before I started this video, and it's not that bad. The offensive line, especially. So we got Raekwon O'Neal, sophomore, left tackle, uh, 86 overall, left guard. We got Cedric Palin. It's a junior left guard, uh, 74 overall, not bad. At center, we got another 74 overall, overall senior. Uh, right guard, 70 overall, Brian Felter, freshman though. So he's got a lot of room to improve. And at right tackle, we got Reggie Sutton, another sophomore, 86 overall. So at our two tackles, the most important two spots on the O-line, we got two sophomores that are 86 overall. It's very, very good. At left end, a junior, Mike Twet, Mike Mikey T. We'll call him Mikey T. I'm not, I can't pronounce the name. He's a junior, red shirt, 87 overall. At right end, we got a lot of a lot of comp over here to see who wants the snaps. We got Lou Moore, Onyechi, both 77 overall, senior and junior, respectively. At the nose tackle, we got two big boys, seniors, six foot and six foot apiece, 296 and 265, both 87 overall. They're going to be just run stuffing the hell out of teams. And then at left outside of linebacker, we got Tyreek Maddox Williams. As you can see, there's a, there's a trend with this team. We do have a lot of seniors on this team, so we're going to have to recruit pretty heavily, or the guys behind them are going to have to make significant strides in this first season. But behind them, we do have sophomore Deion Jennings. Uh, it's not bad, 76 overall. He's more of a speedster, as you can see, compared to Tyreek. Uh, middle linebacker. We got two very, very good middle linebackers, Tyshawn Fogg, 86 overall junior, and Rashawn Battle, 81 overall senior. At right outside linebacker, our highest rated player, I'm pretty sure, on the roster, junior, Olakunle Afatukasi, 91 overall. Uh, and then we got Drew Singleton behind him, but uh, Fatukasi should be, what should we call him, Olunkeli? I don't know, comment down below. I'll probably look up a video how to say his name. Because he's the star player, and he's playing right outside linebacker. So I'll probably be using him a lot. But at the corners, we got two studs, a junior and a senior. Senior Trey Avery, 89 overall, and 86 overall. Avery Young, junior. Uh, then we move on to free safety. We got Christian Isaac, 87 overall sophomore. He should be with us for the long run. And at strong safety, we got Brendan White. And behind him, it is not looking good, so he better not get hurt. I do have injuries on because injuries happen in real life, you know. And then at kicker, we have uh, Valentino Ambrosio. And at punter, we have Adam Corsak. And then we're going to move on to the recruits. Uh, I want to show you guys a uh, set of recruiting board. Is that how we should do it? Set of recruiting board. I haven't recruited. I, mean, I obviously haven't played this game in like seven years. But uh, let's search. Let's see what kind. Of, actually, I don't want to search like that. I want to search like all prospects. Let's go to all prospects. He's gonna show me the highest rank. Okay, so five stars. All right, so these guys. This guy's ranked 105 on the scale, 98, 95. Oh, this guy's 80 overall athlete. His interest is second with us. Oh my goodness, this is this, wait. Oh, you could sort by interest. Let me sort by interest. First, we're the first interested school with no way. No way. Brooks Ellis. Brooks Ellis. First interested five star recruit in a 78.10 out of Passaic, New Jersey. Six foot one, 212. Wide receiver. Can I go? Oh, what I do? Did I, tar I targeted him, right? Target him. Okay, I targeted him. I want to make sure I didn't mess anything up. All right, so we've added Brooks Ellis to our recruiting board. So it says, it says in the top corner. Uh, we can add one of 35 recruits. So we're going to go ahead and add all these four stars for sure. The three stars all have to come back and take a look at. Uh, but then let's go and see the, the players that have us as second interest but are also highly uh, ranked recruits. So we got Tim Harrison, the fourth ranked recruit in the class, second interest. Uh, we got Joe Chase, a strong safety. Uh, we got a guard, Jordan. We do need guards, Jordan Jacobs. We got another wide receiver, Mark Williams. And, yeah, we're going to let that be. So we have 9 out of 35. Let's go to the third. For the third, we only have one guy, quarterback Anthony Brown at a maple shade. So it seems like a lot of these people that are interested in us, they are from Jersey themselves. And I feel like Rutgers has been kind of, uh, they've kind of been, what's the, what's the word? They've kind of been scrutinized and they kind of kind of, kind of been criticized for not being able to bring in and sign the top level recruits the top level recruits that come out of New Jersey. So I got to change that about us. But these uh, guys have us as fourth value. Um, they're None of them are from New Jersey. So we'll fly them in and we'll show them the beautiful state of New Jersey. But then we got more four stars here. So it's only one five star that we're really on the radar of. 
Uh, we scroll down, and I think we got another four star. All right, so that should be good enough for now. Oh, we have five stars. Oh, uh, these are just all the five stars, right? Uh, how how would I even know like what interest they could possibly have? I guess as the season goes along, I'll see like what position we desperately need, and I'll just I'll just attack one of those wide receivers and stuff. I uh, add 18 prospects. Let me just show how to I guess recruit one of them in this episode. So oh, so they want me to scout. I want to talk to him. The preseason is scouting only. Okay, so we scout him. I have 950 points remaining. Okay, so you could only okay, so you could only do that. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and scout all these players. And then I guess I'm going to simulate the preseason and see how the actual recruiting works. Alright, so week one will be on against Fresno State. And I won't be playing that game in this episode. It will be in the next episode. If you guys want the honest truth, I had about like two papers due at midnight. So I got to get on that right now. So I don't really have the time to play this game and edit it. But don't worry, episode two will be out very, very shortly. I promise you that. But let's go. I want to show you guys the recruiting real quick. I want to see how this works. Alright, so in the recruiting thing, I see for now, all we can offer is a scholarship right now. So we're at minus 195. Penn State is in the lead. He is from Pennsylvania, so I guess that would make sense. Uh, but other than that, you can't necessarily do anything just yet. Uh, we can't talk to him. I could, you could give him a, a visit to the school, but we can't do that just yet. We need to get like 50% interest in him or something. But let's go ahead and offer a scholarship, of course, to our man Brooks Ellis. And let's scout him even further. He looks like an absolute stud. 78 overall now. And I'm going to go ahead and do all the other scouting. I'll be right back. Okay, I've gone ahead and allocated all 5,000 of our recruiting points. It was a recruiting tutorial. I went over it, watched it real quick. But the start of next episode, we will be playing at Fresno State. Looking really, really forward to it. And if you guys are excited for this series, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, Kingstar7. And I'm out. Peace.